Alright, this is an experimental video. Please don't do this at home. I know just enough to kill myself. I get very nervous when I do this. Um, I, I just, as an experiment, I decided I'm going to check the voltages. I just got this new vacuum tube voltmeter, which is apparently what you need to check grid voltages because it's high impedance. Don't ask me why, but a regular digital multimeter won't work. So you got to have several tools. This, uh, they don't make these anymore, so you have to buy an old one. This was made probably in 1978, 1980. It's a Heath kit. Uh, it cost me $51 plus shipping. I wanted to show you that i am actually got this. My line voltage is usually 121. I've got it down to about, this is showing one. 15 just a hair less I just want to get it close to what the old uh, 60s voltage used to be on these schematics and I'm going to check the AC voltage coming out of the output transform I mean the power transformer right there are the two red wires and then I will uh, probably compare that I'm actually trying to calibrate or see how accurate the vacuum tube voltmeter is compared to a, a new digital meter. The digital meters are supposed to be more accurate. But as you can see, I have the ground terminal hooked up right now to the multimeter. And I'm getting ready to touch the red probe to the red wires and see if I get 325 volts. According to AC, that's where the AC is, coming off the transformer. Uh, right here it shows 325 and I'm just seeing if the amp is running correctly I mean you guys know it sounds great I'm not gonna mess with it I'm just curious I want to learn more about these things and if I do die please let tell my wife to post it on YouTube so that everybody can see what not to do voltages are gonna be the same maybe not let's see 353 a little bit lower. 353 is supposed to be 325. So 25 volts. Let's see what else I can check. Put it on DC. And I'll check. Uh, the yellow side should be like 425 volts. 446. 432 but it, either way looks like everything's running great I'm gonna turn this off real quick and I'm gonna check the grid voltages all right these vacuum tube voltmeters a little bit trickier to use because wow this one is anyway this has a dual function probe and you have to switch it from DC to AC depending on what you're measuring a lot of the better meters have a um, separate probe for AC and DC and so if you forget to flip this you'll get bad readings you have to set the uh, range to the highest voltage you're going to use even though you can't really hurt these things this is one advantage I've got it on DC plus 500 volts and I'm going to check this uh, plate voltage just to see how it compared what did that 444 
this scene. Oh. I took it off standby. Thank you. Alright, let's hope that works. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Let's see here. Is it showing? volts. Four hundred and thirty. Okay. Yeah, about fourteen volts off. Not not too bad. All right. Now I'm going to check the grid, which is pin two or seven on the preamp tubes. And on the second one is where the leaky capacitors will, the voltage will show up. And right now I should have no voltage on here. And that is a good thing. You, uh, that means the capacitor is working. This is why I bought it. Because if the capacitor is leaking, I can quickly go check these grid voltages. And if I get any kind of like three or four volts, that means that capacitor needs to be changed. It's more important on this tube, as far as I can tell. I'm curious to see what kind of voltage. I, whoops, that scared me. What kind of voltage I get on this one? Nothing. Good. Let's see, seven. No voltage. That's where the guitar signal comes in on the first preamp tube. So, things are looking good. I, I just wanted to goof around and maybe put it on YouTube, but uh, voltages are looking good. Let's, oh, actually, when you're checking grid voltages, I forgot I gotta stick this thing on maybe one and a half volts. No wonder I didn't see anything. Whoa. I so said I just know enough to kill myself. Uh, maybe one of you guys can help me out here. For some reasons, I'm trying to learn this all on my own, but uh, according to Jack Dar, on this pin too, isn't it? I shouldn't have any voltage. Well, it turns out the vacuum tube voltmeter is pretty accurate. Uh, if you forget to change the dial to the range that of the voltage you're checking, it's not going to hurt this thing, which is good. Um, I had a few pops and that scared the you-know-what out of me, so I edited those out. But for some reason, I get about a volt on that plate, I mean on the grid of V2 right here. And I am assuming, not that since I'm not an electronics wizard, that that's some kind of residual coming off of the plate. Because when I check those, uh, check the capacitors, there's zero DC voltage on the top side of them where it, there should be none, so that's good. But I was, I was happy. All the voltages are pretty much right on. Amps working great. It's, uh, in tip-top shape, I'm glad to... I mean, I should know that. It sounds so good, but it's always fun to check. That way I can learn how to check other amps. That's it.